Yeah, I know that place. That sounds like Vermont. Oh, yeah, Vermont. Well, here we go. Let's look at Vermont. And this map here, it's Yahoo's uh, collection of AP stats, right? And so it's a great little map. Each circle here represents a voting area. And the color tells us who won, and the size of the circle tells us how many people won in it. It's a great visual. Now, I don't know how much we really take away from Nikki Haley doing well in Vermont. After all, this state this is the home of Bernie Sanders. However, when we do look at the distribution of votes within the state, and we see among Republicans, Trump is weak geographically around the built-up areas of cities and suburbs. This is his suburb problem, and we can see it here. Now, as we look at other maps, we can, we'll see it there too. Here, it's probably the most obvious. As we're analyzing the 2024 election, we're trying to understand the U.S. politics. This is something we're going to want to put in our political analysis. We're going to want to look at uh, this, this divide in other states, especially in Massachusetts, right? We're going to see it there. And this is something I think we're going to come back to as we go through the 2024 election. So if you're not bored enough, if you want me to look at something in particular about the 2024 election and primary results, let me know in the comments, like and follow, all that good stuff, and tune in for the next Boring AF Politics podcast.